Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. These clueless members of parliament from Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance is just throwing a shame to their party leader, William Ruto. We are being told that now, if these media houses will invite them into an interview, they must confirm who is this person mwenye mekaribishwa ambaye wanaenda kumuengage in that interview. Be it Citizen TV, be it NTV, be it KTN, and all other media houses. And if it will be Edwin Sifuna, they are being told that they should not engage Edwin Sefuna because Edwin Sefuna is putting their members of parliament into a shame. Before I read the letter that was leaked yesterday, remember the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance bloggers complained about Edwin Sefuna for even putting their members of parliament into shame. This is what Abuga Makori is saying. Abuga Makori is Kenya Kwanza blogger. And he is saying, Senator Edwin Sefuna should be banned from TV interviews. He comes very much prepared. Or at least, if he must debate, let them find informed leg legislators leaning towards government. Otherwise, this culture of inviting him to embarrass the government is unacceptable. That is what Abuga Makori said. Before we read the letter that came from UDA, at the same time they are telling us that it is fake, but already their bloggers are complaining and also the Secretary General of UDA, Cleophas Malala, I want us to read, but before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, please consider liking this video. When you like this video, you support the work of this channel. Please consider liking this video. Now, I want us to read eh, the letter, the letter that came from UDA. At the same time, they are complaining that never came from UDA. This letter says, and remember, the letter is coming from UD, United Democratic Alliance, UDA, Office of the Secretary General, for immediate release. And the letter says, it has become increasingly clear that there is a media conspiracy in Kenya intended to paint the UDA party as a home of intellectually challenged people by pitting out members against Nairobi Senator Edwin Sefuna during TV talk shows. The purveyors of this conspiracy have gone ahead to ambush UDA MPs and senators with complex questions meant to show that the cream of our party is unable to break down His Excellency President Dr. William Ruto's agenda to the people during their media appearances. To avoid further embarrassing episodes, the party is now pulling the plug on the appearance of its members alongside Senator Sefuna in any show, regardless of the media house hosting it. By this communication, members and elected leaders of UDA are henceforth required to confirm with the media houses, if Sifuna is part of any show, they are invited to. And immediately decline the invitation if he is on board. Now, this decision is occasioned by the desire of the party to project the ideologies of His Excellency Dr. William Ruto in a way that minimizes embarrassment and humiliations to the party and its leadership. And remember, 
The letter shows the sign of Senator, of former Senator of Kakamega, and he is the current Secretary General of UDA, Clafas Malala, UDA Secretary. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how these individuals are complaining about Edwin Sifuna as the last interview was when Edwin Sifuna embarrasses Kagusha, the member of parliament of Mukuruwen. I want you to watch the video. Let me continue. Let, so let, let me tell you, because this is the evidence else. that yes. uh, Kagushia did not consider the sugar bill. Yeah. I spoke about industrial sugar. There is no single factory in Kenya that produces white industrial sugar. I'm not talking about table sugar. And you have spoken like somebody who did not read the bill. So no. the industry. No, 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 no. You know, but, but you know, you can't say I did not read it. I have listened you, to you. No, 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 no. You see, you see, you see. I have listened. But Trevor, let, 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 no, to you. no, you have let listened me to me. But you, I cannot let also me allow Sifuna to, yeah. to, 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 to belittle. Okay. I get it. You can't also allow him to belittle our point. You are here. You see, the process, the process in which we are producing. You know, but no, I will respond. But also, but also, you, you, you know, you don't belittle. Uh, my Fine. point. You will respond. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. But okay. as he is so also making his point, you know, we can't me, also allow belittling because you, the you process in which we are producing respond, the table yeah. sugar yes. is a process in okay. which we are producing you the industrial sugar. Are you exactly. getting? Yeah. So let him, let him say what he's saying. I am not the one chance. making your yes. points little. They are little points. I am telling you, my brother, that I spoke about no, industrial but, 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 sugar. No, but but is the one that is... Let us agree on this. No, but let us agree on this, Trevor. You know, we are live on show. Uh, you know, <laughs> my brother Sifuna, you can't make it a point of belittling other members of parliament. Are you getting? Eh, Are you done? You, you, know, you know, it's good to also be respectful. Okay. Are you getting? To each Agreed. other. As we must have Are you done? Are you yes. getting? Are you done? Because, because I did we don't not, come here for not, insults. Okay. We yes. don't come here for insults. And we don't come here with small points, okay. like my brother. Fine. Are but you, you getting? Let, let him explain. And you know, having a big head doesn't mean that you have a big point. Okay. That's fine. Are you yes. getting? But the point... Explain. If a point is little, everybody can see it's a little point. It's not me belittling it, Kagushia. I spoke about industrial sugar. Do you know the distinction between white industrial sugar and sugar? That's the point I'm making. Because if you read the bill, you would not have imposed 4% on industrial sugar that is not produced anywhere in this country, that is used in industry. I would understand if you impose an uh, importation tax on sugar, table sugar. Because but he, but he's, also he's also ignorant. He's also ignorant of the I industry finish? that is being set up now to can produce that industrial yeah, sugar. Finish? Let him finish. Then I'll, I'll have one by as well. Yes. Go ahead. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, we are being told that the letter was fake. But despite of the fakeness of the letter, I want to tell you today, this Kenya Kwanzaa members of parliament, they are clueless. They don't understand even the ideologies of their government. They don't even understand what they have done. I don't care about the fakeness of the letter, even if it is true or not. The reality is, these members of parliament from Kenya Kwanzaa, they don't know anything. They don't know. So as I speak already, the UDA Secretary General, Clafas Malala, denies banning politicians from being interviewed alongside Sifuna. And according to the news from Kenya.co.ke, now as we speak, we are being told that Clovis Malala has flagged a press release during rounds, doing rounds on social media, alleging that he had issued the alleged directive in his capacity as Secretary General of UDA. And he said that ignore the circulation and consider it as fake. In a fake press release, media houses were accused of conspiring to paint UDA politicians as intellectually challenged. That is what now is coming at this point. Now, it is not for the first time we are seeing these individuals from Kenya Kwanzaa's side, even when you look at their argument, they are so empty debates. They are empty debates. I'm telling you the reality. They are empty. And in fact, 
you will be shocked these individuals are defending something that even them they do understand it is not true but they will continue defending i know if you are supporting the government of the day you will ensure you will ensure to support the government of the day would to protect not to defend but some defense is not intellectual is not you just show yourself as someone who doesn't understand and look at for example the interview in between sefuna and others with uh, kagushi the member of parliament of mukurweni you will be shocked even kagushi does not understand anything to say even the points that in fact that is what sefuna described as you are your point is so little so after sefuna described that his point is so little so the mukurweni member of parliament kagushi is feeling like he is being demeaned not really you don't understand anything and that is why i've seen here many times these members of parliament from kenya kwanza they usually don't debate in national assembly and senate assembly they usually just just sit they request the speaker because the speaker is there they will say post the question we vote they vote they finish the, the the business of the house that is what they usually do and that is why they usually post uh, that, that is why the, the other time you saw the member of the, the, the members of parliament from Uran complaining about taxes in terms of the avocado farmers who are to create the eTim accounts and the KRA was invited to at least assess them go through how they should open the eTim accounts but remember they came out rejecting this why because in their minds during the debate they never debated by they asked the the, 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 the speaker of the day that look pose the question we vote they vote after voting they usually complain later why should you waste your time sitting voting you've not debated you don't know even what you are voting for then after all later on you start rejecting what you voted for it is so punitive and intellectually challenged a member of parliament from Kenya Kwanza as the way we can say they will say the letter is fake but the reality is they are intellectually challenged members of parliament in fact and that is why even if they are being told you are elected to represent the people but then they are acting as if they were elected to represent william ruto in the national assembly you were not elected to represent william ruto in the national assembly you were elected to represent the people of mukurweni people of kiduguri people of ugoja people of kitui you know and malindi that is the purpose of election but the members of parliament we are having especially kenya kwanza side they are so so illiterate they don't understand even the the function and also their duties you know they just there earning salaries especially when you look at where william root is moving to have his rallies wako pale na wanaonyesha ni kana kwamba they are working these people are not working they are just eating salaries ladies and gentlemen Do you think that it is good now Eden Sefuna not to engage these members of parliament from Kenya Kwanza side because they are feeling like Eden Sefuna is well informed prepared and intellectually learned and understands every corners of discussion of specific interview what do you think ladies and gentlemen drop your opinion at the comment section below otherwise thank you so much because of your great support please consider subscribing liking commenting and sharing this video bye bye till you meet on another video